Now to the growing crisis inside the nation's hospitals with another surge in coronavirus infections expected soon. We learned overnight that California is taking new action and there could be hope for another potential vaccine. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi has the very latest. This morning, the U.S. military now deploying medical troops to help California's overburdened hospitals, buckling under the pressure of skyrocketing COVID cases. Los Angeles County, the epicenter, taking new action requiring all travelers to quarantine for 10 days as the region reports a 600 percent increase in deaths since November. On average, nine to 10 people in L.A. County test positive for COVID-19 every minute. 96% of hospitals in L.A. County had no room for emergency patients over the weekend. Some hospitals now putting patients in conference rooms and even gift shops because of the lack of space. It's very challenging to know that patients are coming into the hospital even sicker than they normally do because we frankly can't take them in all the hospitals that way. Doctors growing more concerned just as a new possibly more contagious mutation of the virus is confirmed in North America reaching Canada and likely already here in the U.S. I'd be shocked if it weren't here already. But the World Health Organization saying so far it's found no evidence that the new mutation has caused any significant increase in hospitalizations. In the meantime, another vaccine candidate is nearing the finish line. Novavax announcing it's launching a phase three trial in the U.S. It comes amid growing questions about the distribution of Pfizer's vaccine already underway. A Walgreens in Kentucky reportedly gave doses to non-priority patients after receiving more doses than it needed for nursing home workers. Walgreens calling this, quote, an isolated situation. Knowing that there's a short shelf life of only a few hours once they come out of the freezer, I can understand why they would want to use it. In New York, the governor now threatening criminal charges and $1 million in fines for vaccine fraud after a health care provider was accused of falsely obtaining the vaccine and letting people skip the line. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, New York.